Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we've got my first full gameplay of Season 9 Duel. And we're starting off with the boy Atlas because he's finally allowed. And as much as I really, 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 really want to go auto attack Atlas, I have been told multiple times, do not go auto attack Atlas, even though you really want to. And you really want to swing that, at, that astral labor around really fast. I've been told not to do it, so we're not going to do it, but I'm going to do something worse, and that is a Bumba's Hammer build, or maybe better. I don't know. It depends on your perspective. Uh, we're going to get Bumba's Hammer, and we're also going to get the new Rod of 2D Glyph, which basically when I hit an ability, it calls down a Meteor and deals damage. It's really hard to hit, but with Atlas 2, I can confirm it. Now, for those that don't know how Atlas is, he is trash. He's bad, but they buffed him, and he's a little bit less trash. But he's cool like like there's guardians that aren't good in duel and they're not that fun like in my opinion let's say ganesha you know he's he's really difficult to get a win with atlas is at least really fun in my opinion even if he's bad he's really fun his alt's cool i don't know i like him but uh yeah he is he has a rough time so we're gonna start off at blue buff my one's actually not even that good to use so we're just gonna cancel it get the swing auto use my two Use my three, cancel it, and I just auto attack the rest. Hopefully she doesn't steal this. Kind of need this blue buff because, as you can see, half my mana bar is already gone. But yeah, we're going to try to go Bumbus Hammer. It doesn't mean I can get infinite resets, but because I can hold them in my two for a while, I can actually kind of get a lot of my cooldowns for, you know, pretty fast with Bumbas. And I think it's the only hope I have late game. Plus the stats are great for what I need. I will also most likely go double defense, probably Emperor's Armor, Typhons, or something of the sort to give me some, some, uh, defense. Whoops. Oh, I'm dead. No. Dang. Yeah, my escape's not very fast either, so if I'm in a bad spot, I just kind of have a hard time getting out. I should have left a lot faster, but oh well. Skipping a starter item is, of course, tough in duel, but so be it. I actually lost this exact matchup on stream because I went auto attack Atlas, and that was where I was told don't go auto attack Atlas anymore. <laughs> to be fair, it was against Bologna. Hmm. Hold on one second. All right, so the Bologna is going Ikaval. So, I mean, that shouldn't be too much problem since again, I'm not going attack speed, but I do like having a little bit of attack, you know, a little bit of my autos. I do have my Sunder, but let's see, I'll try to use it here. Sunder her again, use my passive. No, no, yes. <laughs> I was about to be like, are you serious? My ult didn't kill. <laughs> oh, I'm actually making a mistake as well. I think I should be maxing my two or my three. Definitely not the one. The one's, the one, the initial damage is fine, but the, uh, like the, the base tack pulses are just complete garbage. They don't scale on your power. Whether you have zero power, or a thousand power, the, the pulses do the same amount of damage, which I think should be changed. It should have a tiny bit of scaling, even if it's like 5%. Even if it's like a really low number. It should have something. Might be able to bait her with my two, but I feel like most people know better. Yep. Okay. Thankfully, they buffed Atlas so that I can damage minions with my three. We're gonna recall. She's not gonna let me. Never mind, she is gonna let me. Cool. Is she using tier 5 skin? I think she is. Oh, she went Atlanta's bow. I forgot about that. They did buff this item. It's got crit, it's got life steal, it's got attack speed, it's got power. It doesn't have pen anymore, but it's a very solid item. Good item overall. Oh, she's stealing my my blue buff. That's really bad. Yeah. Can't really do much here, that's okay. Again, I'm probably going to want to go double defense this game. It looks like... No, she is coming this way. I think, I think her blue buff is up right now. Oh, 
Might be able to do a good amount of damage here. She's gonna ult away. Nice, dude, that was awesome. Like I said, Atlas is fun, man. Feels good to do stuff like that. But then I press T and it's like, where where did the damage come from? <laughs> where, the, none of the numbers are big, you know what I mean? <laughs> All these numbers are small. Still cool though, still fun god. Oh, I really want to, really want to go auto tag Atlas, man. I might do it anyways for another video, even if it's trash. Thankfully her ultimate is down, so I should be able to get away. And we're gonna go, if I go breastplate, I will be overcapped in super late game, but I think it's worth with the, uh, the glyph that I can go. We're not gonna get the glyph yet, but I'll probably go this glyph, which when I use my ultimate, I reduce auto attacks damage near me for enemies by 15% for five seconds, which is great against Bologna. Also, I do know that I can use my two in combination with my one, but I, I will be quite honest, I'm not great at knowing when I should be using it, and sometimes when there's a great situation, I forget. So if there's some situations in the game where that happens, just know that I am working on improving that. And I do know the mechanic works, it's just, uh, feels like most of the time it's not that good. I think when I'm running away is when I should use it the most. It does suck that you can't control when you want to use the, the passive. It's just when it's ready, it's your next auto attack. Because I would like to be able to save it, but how would you even like do that, I suppose? Sunder combined with my ult is insane. Nice, dude. Yeah, because my ultimate reduces protections by a, like a pretty decent amount. And then Sunder makes them take additional damage. So even though my damage numbers are suck, Sunder combined with my ultimate is a nice combo to have. Not going to work every game, but it does work in this game uh, because Bologna is a warrior. It just happens to kind of be good. So this is going well so far. Again, I'm probably not going to get this right away. Um, let's get Divine Ruin, actually. And the reason I want to get Divine Ruin is that she does have some life still, and Bologna's 3 has some healing, plus she has health chalice, it's just a good idea overall. I should be able to secure this with my 2. Nice. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Cool, cool, cool. Doing good so far. Like here might be a good time to use my one and two because I can clear the wave with it. Like that's a nice way to clear the wave at a distance because your one pulses aren't really enough damage to clear the wave. So I guess that's a good use for it too. Or just to annoy the hell out of Eric too. <laughs> I'm okay with either. Whoops, that was not as what I wanted. That was not what I wanted either. Please don't die. Okay, let's save her ult here. She's actually not doing that much damage, which is good. Uh, she is going for minis when red buff is up. I think that was a huge mistake. Again, just cancel the one most of the time. Not really worth using the pulses when my regular auto attacks do more damage. Like, it just feels dumb that that's a fact. Plus, they cost mana on each pulse. I would be down if they increased the mana it costs for each pulse. If it meant that uh, the ability could apply item effects or if it could scale. You know, a little bit of a power adjustment. I do like it with when they do things like that. When they buff something that's bad, but then they also do something to bring it back down so it's not too strong. Actually, I'm, I'm doing enough damage where I can fight her head on, especially if I ult. I think this is a good time to ult. Oh, uh, lag spike? Excuse me? Damn, 
Damn, I almost had my two. That's okay. I wasn't using my three because I wanted her to go into my tower, but just didn't get the chance to finish it. Okay, she is backing off. I will too. Let's get to Mine Ruin. This game's going really good so far. I will admit. Um, okay, so I do want double defense. Emperor is probably a good idea. Uh, or Typhon's Fang, something that gives me damage. Uh, and second relic, let's save it. And the reason I'm going Emperor's is that way if I grab her and she's under my tower, uh, I can get some more damage. Again, I don't know how useful it will be yet, but sometimes it's super helpful, sometimes you don't use it that much. But base stats are still good. Plus they buffed Emperor's in Season 9. I just canceled my passive, whoops. Luckily I still get it. But yeah, Emperor's, even if you don't really get the passive that much, still has good stats. And if it does help me, it'll help me a ton, not just a little bit. Nice. Oh, that missed. Dude, that ability's the size of the lane and I missed. <laughs> it is kind of odd to aim because you do get so far away from it. Oh, if I get my passive here, that'd be huge. Good use of auto cancels, but not enough damage. Oh, yeah. Whatever, I get some minions in tower, which is pretty good. Pretty worth it to me. I don't get red buff, but that's okay. This is a good game so far. I don't. Neither of us have lost uh, tower. I keep canceling my pass, but I don't mean to. But yeah, pretty even game so far. These are my favorite types of duel matches where it's even because I'm not winning by too much and she's definitely not that far behind. We both have a solid chance in this game. And if either of us make a mistake at this point, it's not going to be game. We'd probably lose tower, maybe Phoenix, but things are looking good so far. Now, as the game progresses, if I die, Lona will be able to take a lot of stuff. And if I kill her, I'll be able to take as much. But right now, it's still pretty even. We're not at that point yet. We're getting there. Also, we should start saving for Bumbas pretty soon. Probably after I finish Emperors. Okay, let's see if I can get a nice snag here. Nice body blocks. Fortunately, if I had Emperors there, I would have done a huge amount, like, good amount of damage. But I don't. That's why, man, I, I, I can afford it, but I just still can't get it. Oh, I missed. Those are the worst. Those are the worst when you miss that point blank range. Don't mean to keep canceling that, but she might be going for. Oh no. Oh, that is so unlucky that I didn't get the full grab there. That would have been amazing. This might be a good chance to commit with my alt if she goes on me. Especially if I can get an alley oop into the tower, then I definitely go for it. Nice, dude. That was so good. Yes. Because of where my alt was lined up and charging, while I was super low health and she could have she could have just ran at me and killed me. If she did, she would have went into my ultimate and she would have died first. So she had no choice but to run away. And of course, that led to her dying. Now, I will just take... Oh, wait, red buff's down. Ah, that's not good. Should have been paying attention to that. I don't get much tower damage right now. In fact, I have to back and I might lose my tower off that. Ooh, big mistake thinking red buff was up when it wasn't. Could have been worse. All right, let's start saving up for Bumba's hammer a little bit. And also get ah let's 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 get tier three sunder at least. Uh, does, she does have both relics, so second relic. I think we should get something kind of aggressive. I don't know about a blink, but horrific could be interesting. But some things like horrific with her playstyle, how I'm able to get such good alts. If I could horrific her in those alts, that would be very good. Um. Thorns is all right. Frenzy is cool, but don't know if it's here. Actually, you know what? Bracer is actually really good. 
Bracer, uh, the one that gives the 20% movement speed and the 20% power constantly. That could be nice. Because that could let me choose what fights I want to do. Plus, it's just all on the map all the time. I think I might go with that. I'm surprised she lets me grab her like this all the time. Even with that uh, beads. It just seems like, why would you do that for free? With my max sunder here, might be able to get something. Let's see. I was thinking about ulting, but she still has her ult, so I don't really see the point in that. If she backs here, I think I get tower, though. I'm saving my two right now. Just play it safe, play it safe. Last item, I'm going to go rock too deep, by the way. Most likely. Might go typhons if she's not going to get anti-heal. missed. Atlas thing is so finicky. Okay, she's probably gonna ult. Uh, this isn't worth. It was like almost worth the Sunder for that, but not quite. Oh, that would have been worth. That would have been worth to stop her, but hey, I get tower. I will have to run immediately, but you know. Let's red buff up is this is a little dangerous this is a lot of dangerous <laughs> i might purposely lazy back to see if i can grab her into tower let's see nice she still has her girl with my emperors i'm doing a huge amount of damage to her bad. This is bad. Okay, she missed. This all of a sudden became very good. Use my two. I'll you her. Passive. Nice. Dude, that's the Atlas, man. Or excuse me, the Hatless. Oh, Atlas is so fun. May not be the best guardian for a duel, but he is a fun guardian. Almost gives me Fafnir vibes, but Fafnir has a good late game. <laughs> I mean, oh, look how much gold I have. I haven't backed in so long. I baited her <laughs> instead of backing on purpose. And because of that, I have so much gold. I really need to back, but this, I also really need this Phoenix. If I die for this Phoenix, it's worth. But I'm not going to get it. And that's not worth. Let's place a ward just in case I need to know if she goes for Demon King or if she chases. Looks like she's not chasing, which is awesome. Still going to back up a little bit. All right, now let's buy all of our items. Alright, Pumbas. Uh, what did I say? Rod of Tootie? There's a couple other options I could go. And let's get our uh, Bracer. Yes. Yeah, Bracer Brilliance, I think. I don't know how people feel about it. I think it's being slept on. 20% increased power, 20% movement speed for just being around the area of Bracer. Like, what does Red Buff give? Red Buff gives increased 20%. People love red buff, dude. Embracer of Radiance gives just that much, but all, like all the time. Plus it stacks with red buff. Like, hello? Am I missing something or is, why is this item not being talked about as much? Did I get that? I did. Like, let's place it. Oh, that's actually kind of bad. No! Oh my god, yes, 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 yes! I will I will admit I was not using my Bumba Hammer procs correctly there at all. I kind of was just panicking that entire fight, especially when I missed the two when it looked like it should have hit. Oh, this is such a good Atlas game. This is such a good Atlas game. At this point, I, I am getting quite a bit more kills and it's not as even, but still such a good Atlas game. Now, I will say that my rank right now is Bronze 3, but that is because they did a hard reset today. Everyone's in Bronze 3. I don't actually know what rank this Bologna is, but I mean, she's playing about how most Bologna's would at when I was in Diamond, Diamond slash Plat. So I, th I think she's at least a Plat Bologna, so it's not like uh, anything's wrong with that. 
The build is interesting, but I don't think it's necessarily bad. It's just a new Season 9 build. Why are my auto attacks not going off? There we go. Okay, we might be able to kill her with a bait here. Let's lazy back on purpose and pull her in. Unless I miss. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I missed my two. I deserve that. I keep missing these point blank twos, and you know what it is? It reminds me of Ymir Freeze. How Ymir Freeze, um, the easiest way to juke Ymir Freeze is actually to run at him when you're right next to him. Because that cone, that cone area is such a small area that's super easy to just not be in the cone when you're right next to Ymir. And that's how it is with Atlas. And I need to realize that. And I, when they're right next to me, I need to actually back up, not walk forwards. So that's just part of me learning how to play Atlas as well. We can upgrade our Breastplate of Valor pretty soon as well. Uh, that, that's what I'll do after, uh, next. I just haven't been doing it as much because I'm just prioritizing everything else. Usually Glyphs are pretty worth to rush. We do a good amount of damage. We got 420 power. That is a sign that this is the way to go on this build. Very happy with this game so far. Like even if even if I end up losing, this this has been a solid game. Can back and upgrade the breastplate, but I don't think I should do that. I should keep my pressure up, especially because she has Demon King. I don't want to just back up and then give her my Phoenix. It's not a good thing to do. Oh, I wasted my two there. Let's use a Bumpus Hammer. Oh, I didn't get the Bumpus Hammer. Might be able to get a kill here. Oh. No, I missed it. <laughs> Why am I so... Oh, I, I really do get better at that. It's weird, because you don't aim at them. You have to pretend that you're aiming from where you cast your ult. It's like Susano ult. And you should have pretty good with Susano ult, which is the funny part. We need to run. Like, big time. Do I need to use Brace of Radiance? Yep. She's gonna think I'm hacking. Can't auto attack for my Bumbas. There we go. Oh my god, I should have had Chalice going. That Sunder saved me because this Sunder actually heals you. It will actually link to them. Wow. Literally could not think of a better way to end this game than that close fight. Again, it didn't need to be as close. I could have had my potions ticking and I could have used Bracer earlier. But it's still hype. Who cares? I will say the Atlas ult is a good Titan killer. Atlas ult is a great Titan killer because it lowers his protections and you can just beat them down. But man, aren't we glad we did not go auto attack Atlas. <laughs> I still really want to do it, but it's probably for the best. Probably for the best. So, yeah. A uh, review of Atlas is that he is fun. He's not the best Guardian. I mean, most Guardians aren't, but uh, we got a nice matchup. I think against a War is probably best for Atlas. Someone close close range. Um, the Bologna also played super aggressive, which I appreciated, but probably wasn't best for them. Like, they were running into my two a lot. <laughs> GG's. Feel free to play some Atlas. That's just my response from now on whenever somebody thinks a Guardian I'm playing is OP. It's just like, hey, if you think they're good, go ahead and run some 10 Atlas games. <laughs> but yeah, overall, fun fun character, fun, fun gameplay, good game. I'm glad I got that. And if you guys want to see some other guys, please let me know. But I'm loving Season 9 so far. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a nice day. Bye, everybody.